Hello everybody and welcome back to Airbrush Ways. In this video we're going to do not a how-to. What I'm doing today is something completely new and I suppose you could call this let's learn together video because I'm going to do something today that I've never done before and that is use Indian ink. So this says on the side I have no idea what this is going to do. It's called Acrylic Ink Rala Downey's FW Black. Now I've been watching a few things on YouTube just like you guys do. I go on there and see what's happening. I've seen this thing done with Indian ink to do kind of a grayscale picture. So I've just got a piece of aluminium composite panel here and what I'm going to do with it is I've scuffed it down with a piece of scotch Bright. so all you've missed is me rubbing this panel down because it's fairly shiny to start with and then I've got an air tool stencil put that on there and just got a pencil and drawn a line as I've seen it done on YouTube so this is you and me learning this together for the very first time. What I do know is that we do put the ink and the water into the cup and start as light as we can go. Now I've asked some questions with different people and somewhere around two drops of ink to six drops of water. And this is what I'm going to be using today. So it's the Renegade Chrome and all I'm gonna do I've never done this before, so bear with me, it may be a complete disaster. And that's why I've just started with this tiny skull up in the top corner of here. So I can do this maybe four times before I get to the point where uh, I've run out of board and uh, I call it a day. So I'm going to put in two drops straight out of the bottle of Indian ink. And then in there, I'm going to add six drops of deionized water if you know what I mean by that it's not the stuff straight out the tap uh, and we're going to give this a go see what happens I know um, from what I've been looking Tony Smith I think is his name what I've been looking on his site is he does use masking tape to mask off stuff he also starts at the very lightest of colours and he uses the freehand stencils. I'm going to try and go same direction as he does, very light to start with and then work it out from there. So I'm just going to pick up a piece of paper in and do a little bit of a test, see what this does. Oh, okay, so the needle isn't even, uh, and that to me is very black. So I'm going to reseat this needle. That's the Mac valve. We'll give this another go, see what happens. Okay, I'm going to turn it down a bit more. Like I've said, there's no right way and no wrong way now because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so that's stippling, so that's way too long. So I'm going to bring it back up. Okay, we're having trouble now with this airbrush because it doesn't seem to want to uh, sit up against the uh, nozzle. Okay, so I've just give the airbrush uh, a quick clean out. And obviously then I had to empty the um, ink out of it. So I've now got 12 drops of water to one drop of ink. And this is just a practice, obviously. I don't know how this is gonna go, whether it's gonna spread or whether it'll work or not. I'll just turn that air down a bit more. And we'll try. 
and see what happens. So, like I said, this is uh, my first time to use ink and we'll just see exactly how it works. But I'll try without the um, stencil first, see what happens to it. Whoa! Okay, so that's a bit severe. Now the other thing with this ink, apparently it's uh, reworkable. In other words, once we've got this in, we can clean up and take it off again. And I'm just going to get uh, an eraser. So we'll see what happens when I just try and take this off the edge. seems to have taken it off somewhat and then I think you can erase those pencil marks as well while you're at it so we'll try this on the other eye that's tip dry or just the ink on the end. I don't think you get tip dry with this but I don't know. And like I say this isn't a how to, this is how do we do it. So I've got the mat valve fairly tight up. Only a tiny bit of air coming. I bet it's not much more than say 15 or 20 psi at the most. Now, uh, because I can see there I am over spraying, this isn't, I think if I get too close it's going to either spider or it's going to be too dark. I'll just try it up on this nose, up close and see what happens. Yeah, to me. The way this is supposed to go, I don't think you're supposed to go that dark straight away. So <laughs> we'll take it out again, which is fairly cool. Make a mistake and rub it out. Uh, I'm going to use this shield here now, or one of these shields. Let me find something that is going to fit. Almost made to measure. Uh, I'm just going to put. Uh, A bit of this in. All right, well that doesn't seem too bad. I know we've still got them pencil marks in there, but I don't know whether I can erase them uh, as we go along. I'll just give it a try, a try up here on this top edge. See whether it, oh, it does. The problem is now I'm also taking out a bit of that paint, but it definitely does get rid of the pencil mark. I 
doesn't seem to clean it properly although I've not seen anyone using this aluminium sheeting before so I don't know whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do we'll keep going anyway I suppose one thing that fits everything would be best but still you can't have everything unusual this but seems to be doing okay at the moment I'm just very lightly using the shield and going that way so I'm, I'm trying not to blow under the shield if I can help it can't get out of the habit of t pinching that tip dry even though it's not there Definitely leaves a fairly big overspray. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be great at putting in thin lines. I'll try in there because that's going real dark anyway. I don't know how long this lasts in the airbrush, whether it uh, you've got so much time with it or not I think it's going to get a lot of uh, work done before I'm happy that it's going to uh, do what it's supposed to do. If you remember these are just all part of the handmade stencils that I've done in the past. Well, greatest of respect to uh, Tim Smith because I thought this was going to be easier than this. Definitely not easier. It does puddle up fairly quick if you're not careful, like that's doing there. Although it dries off, not too bad, as long as you realise it's happening. But definitely, this isn't as easy as uh, Tim Smith makes it look. You can see I'm messing about with the distance and with the PSI. I don't even know whether I've got the right consistency in here because this is just all guess. Slight apologies, unfortunately the battery went on the phone, on the camera sorry, the battery went on the camera so I ended up changing the battery 
and press the record button and finished doing this thing with uh, the use of um, a paintbrush just to get little bits inside there and then the eraser which was also just to clean things up and that's what I've ended up with um, I'm fairly happy for my first attempt with Indian ink and hopefully you're not too disappointed at skipping that big piece uh, I'm kicking myself now that I didn't actually check the battery but it seemed to be working everything seemed to be going according to plan so that's the end result I hope you've enjoyed what I've done um, if you have then give me a thumbs up and I apologize again for the silly mistake with the battery uh, don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon will tell you when I've got another video up uh, if I don't get to put anything else up now for you have a good Christmas uh, have a good holidays and we'll speak to you soon okay bye